up, you guys? It's me, Auntie Lauren, and welcome to the first day of Black History Month. As you can see, I'm representing what my is the Black owned restaurant for me. I'm gonna put the details down below of where I got this t shirt from. But as for now, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Auntie Lauren. And today, we're gonna be making some lasagna rolls. As you can see, I have everything here that I'm gonna be using, like my ground beef and my seasonings. And I actually got a little package from the feed feed, and they actually sent me some things like we have here some tutoroso whole tomatoes we're going to be using but we're actually going to have to break those down because i thought they were diced tomatoes and i'm not going back outside it's cold outside and i'm not going back to the store so those whole tomatoes are going to have to work and we also have some partana olive oil that we're going to be using tonight so thank you to the feed feed for sending me these items let's go ahead and get this popping y'all i'm going to start out by taking this shot of liquor I'm just kidding, it's olive oil. It's actually, it really is olive oil, y'all. It's actually this Partana olive oil um, that I got in my feed feed package. So, now that we have that cover, <laughs> I'm gonna actually be sauteing my onions in this olive oil. It's just like a tablespoon. And I just want my onions to be a little soft. I know some people, they uh, saute their onions in their ground beef or whatever meat they're using. That ain't enough oil. Why am I playing myself? Okay, that's some oil. I know some people saute their onions and their meat when they're cooking stuff like spaghetti or lasagna, but I wanna be different tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead and saute these onions. Okay, so while my onions are sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and season up my ground beef. Um, I have some black pepper here, and I also have some seasoning salt, some granulated garlic, some onion powder and i might use a little garlic salt i might use it a little bit i'm not sure yet got my seasoning salt and i try not to like when i'm making lasagna i try not to like season my ground beef too much because i'm gonna have to end up seasoning my meat sauce and i don't want it to be like too salty so i try to use like a teaspoon a half a teaspoon on um the seasoning when i'm seasoning my ground beef i'm gonna go ahead and um throw my ground beef in the skillet and by the way this is like let me show y'all this this skillet is a lifesaver because it cuts down on me having to wash dishes and it cuts down on me having to use my dishwasher and I just love it. I can make almost anything inside the skillet and I believe I got it from like Walmart. I believe I got it from Walmart when I was on vacation because the hotel room I was staying in didn't have a, whole, uh, um, didn't have a stove so I actually ended up with this amazing piece of equipment. And it goes up to 420 degrees. It's actually um, by if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry, okay? It's um, by Oster or Oyster. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ground beef in here. Let that turn brown and let the juices run clear. So while we're waiting on our ground beef to brown, I wanna tell you something. These are some awesome tomatoes. Every time the CC sends me packages and these tomatoes are in them, I get so excited. I love these tomatoes. They taste so fresh and like, they are actually Tutoroso. Um, I'm gonna put their at info in the bottom too because I'm not sure where you can buy these tomatoes from. Like I said, they were sent to me and I absolutely love them. They taste good. They also taste like canned tomatoes. They're actually whole tomatoes, so we're gonna have to do some operating to make them not so whole potatoes. that our ground beef is browned off we're gonna go ahead and take our not so whole tomatoes <laughs> and pour it in i'm also going to use some tomato paste that was sent to me by the feed feed um i'm only going to use like a tablespoon and a half of it because this is what helps the sauce thicken up a little bit then i'm going to stir in a half a cup of water Alright, so 
So y'all still following me so far? Good. Okay, so one of the last things we're gonna do to our salsa is season it. And my special ingredient that I love to add to my spaghetti or lasagna sauce is sugar. I know I may lose some people when I say that, but I just feel like if you don't put sugar in your spaghetti or your lasagna sauce, then you really just eat tomatoes. But okay. I just feel like you have to add sugar to this. Did you not see all that tomato stuff that I put up in there? Why Why would you want to just taste straight tomato? Trust me, if you don't use sugar in your spaghetti or your lasagna sauce, it's going to change things. Start using it. I use like a tablespoon or two. It sweetens it up and it cuts that tomato paste taste. Go ahead and stir that in. I'm also going to use some pepper, a little teaspoon of garlic salt. And it's going to balance out the tomato and the sugar and the uh, salty taste. It's going to balance it all out, I promise. Start putting sugar in your... your People say, I don't put sugar in my... And my sugar doesn't go in spaghetti. Yes, it does. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Hold on, back up a little bit. This is Italian seasoning. And it already has basil and oregano and um, sage in it. So it's just a little mixture of all those. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some in here. Give it a good stir. I'm gonna drop a couple of bay leaves in and we are gonna let it simmer. Maybe like two bay leaves. It's not a really big pot. I'm gonna let it simmer for maybe like an hour or two. I know it still looks like it's bubbling right now, but I just like turned it down. Turned it down a little bit more. So we're finishing up our lasagna rolls and I'm getting ready to make our ricotta cheese mixture that goes on the inside of the lasagna rolls. Like I said, this is just some ricotta cheese. And I also have some spinach that I cut up. I'm gonna add an egg, cause this is what binds it together. And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. black pepper just to season it up, a little bit of salt, and some more Italian seasoning. Hey guys, so it is time to go ahead and assemble these lasagna rolls. Put it at the bottom of our pan. Add some of our ricotta cheese to the inside of the lasagna noodle. Then we're gonna roll it up. It's that easy. And I'm gonna continue to do this until I run out of meat sauce or until I run out of pan space, whichever comes first. I top off my rolls with some more sauce. guys so this is how it looks before I put it in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with some foil and bake it for like maybe 40 minutes and then we're gonna get ready to eat all of my lasagna rolls at the oven they look and smelling real good gonna let them cool off a little bit before I cut them open Finally getting a chance to eat my lasagna and it is busting. It's so good. And yes, I'm eating off a paper plate. We like to reserve dishes around here. <laughs>
But I really appreciate y'all for tuning in to my first episode of Cooking with Auntie Lauren. This is my first time making a video like this, so um, y'all know I was nervous. But I look forward to making more videos with y'all, so make sure you subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.